give myself to you. We say that as our prayer tonight. My life is not my own. We're going to get started shortly. I want to encourage you to worship and welcome the Holy Spirit onto the Zoom. Next is going to say, my life is not my own. To you, I belong. I give myself. I give myself to you. And on today, we are talking about finishing well, finishing well. And so let's go ahead and pray before we get started. Father God, we come to you today. I lift up my hands in reverence and just saying, Father, I surrender and I turn it over to you. Father, we come to you today and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for breath. Thank you for waking us up, Father. Thank you for the opportunity to get it right again today, Lord. Thank you for just loving on us, Father. On today, Father, we ask that you show up into the Zoom in a mighty way, Father. We ask that you push aside, Clarissa, Father, but that you come through, Father, that you give me the words to say, Father, the words to touch my heart, touch my sister's heart, touch my brother's heart, Father, touch those that's here that's live on the replay, Father, that's here live as well as those that's here on the replay, Father. Do what only that you can do, Father. Reveal what only 
only you can reveal, Father. Make revelations like only you can make revelations, Father. Make it plain, Father. Make it that we all understand it, Father. Make it that it does not just sit, Father, for, for one moment, Father, but that it resonates through us throughout the day, Father. Make it that this is something that we talk about to others throughout the day, Father, that they talk to others about it throughout the day, Father. Father, you're such an awesome God. You're such a mighty God, Father, and we love you so much. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory on this day. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. And so um, on today, the title is Finishing Well. Finishing Well. And right off the back, just, just reading it, we would think finishing well would mean like um, to finish well means to to complete it to see it through to be the best to 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 ace it right when we read it that's what we would think finishing well means um but let's read let's read and so the first scripture is first chronicles 17 27 and it says and now it has pleased you to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever before you. For you, O Lord, have blessed, and it is blessed forever. I'm going to read it again. And now it has pleased you to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue forever before you. For you, for you O Lord, have blessed, and it is blessed forever blessed forever we don't live forever and so for something to be blessed forever that means something has to be going on continuously and so let's let's read further to see what are they getting at when they say that okay um could anyone other than david have been a more natural choice to oversee the construction of israel's first permanent house of worship imagine the disappointment perhaps even the confusion he must have felt when trying to digest the news he had been given by prophet nathan that someone else would enjoy his honor instead have you ever been felt you are the one qualified to do something and it was passed to somebody else um and and you like but i i know that i have the skills to do this particular thing i'm the one that should be able to do it or i started this thing out even more so right i started this thing out and i know that i'm the one that's 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 most skilled to see this thing out how dare they they pass it to little cousin how dare they pass it to the person that i trained on the job to finish the job i am the one that's most skilled in this position david was faced with a choice either selfishly insist on fulfilling his own ambitions or step aside and willingly pass on the baton to one whom God had appointed to complete the task. He chose wisely. Instead of succumbing to his hubris or acceding to selfish ambition, he cleared the way for the next one in line. He didn't scramble to maintain his position or usurp the assignment God had delegated to another. He trusted. He submitted. He finished well by not finishing. He finished well by not finishing. OMG, I know for so many of us, that is so hard to do. And that's what I say, us, please include Rissa, especially let's say inside of our households, you know, um, passing the baton, trusting our children to be able to do things inside of our house, trusting our spouse to be able to do things inside of our house, inside of the church, trusting other members to be able to do stuff. Yeah, you may be the more qualified one, but ideally leaders should be able to pass the baton to the next person in line and trust that they're able 
to carry it on. Ha, Rissa is even working on that amongst what our fab work grew, you know, trusting that I'm able to, to pass the baton because this is not a one woman's race. When God gives something, he wants it to multiply. And so we, we can expect to hold the baton inside of our hand with nothing that we're doing. God wants us to pass the baton. To finish the race sometimes means to not finish it on our own, but to trust that the person behind us is capable of finishing it out to their next part as well. I wonder how many divine missions, mandates, and ministries are aborted by self-minded Christians who refuse to relinquish control of the tasks of those who follow in their footsteps. I wonder how many worthy pursuits have lost their spiritual relevance and vitality because someone greedily clung to their personal ownership of it rather than cheerfully stepping aside, encouraging its growth and maturity into a new generation. One of the more difficult um, nonsense of victorious Christians living is that of staying sensitive to the spirit's timing of knowing when he's whispering enough now my child only truly humble heart will comply when it's time to let others carry the reins of responsibility forward while their own assignment shifts to another role right there only a, a humble heart will truly comply because it, it takes a humble person to, to say, okay, Lord, even though it doesn't look like the assignment is complete, and even though I may be the more qualified person for this, I trust you, Father, that you will give this other person the guidance to be, oh, he just gave it to me. How many of us in, in our marriages and with our children, you can't let the hand go because you got to be the one to step in and fix and do everything. And, and, and this person can't, can't lead and can't carry out their role because you got to put your hands over everything. God said, pass the baton and then trust, trust in me to be able to, to help them to, to carry the race. All right, Holy Spirit. Um, but just as in, because David was qualified, David was qualified to do it, but it, it took him to, to believe and, and to trust or elsewise he would have stopped and we're going to hear what he would have stopped. But just as an Olympic relay is, a, is dependent on each successful exchange of the baton, so our churches, ministries, families, and visions dependent on faithful leaders who will yield power when it's someone else's turn to carry the torch. Finishing well can sometimes mean not seeing the full end of what you started, but rather stepping away so others can share in the victory of a race well run. The fact is, the glorious building that rose from the city of David is still remembered all the centuries later as Solomon's temple. Before is demoralizing destruction at the hand of pagan invaders centuries later. Its opulence was known far and wide as being reminiscent of builders' esteem. Solomon's temple and yet Solomon's success was largely due to David's selfless release and also to something more, something beautiful and staggering in his generosity. According to 1 Chronicles 22, David used the remainder of his lifetime to collect the materials, delegate the workforce, fund the expenses, and enthusiastically validate his son before the entire nation. So just because you pass the baton doesn't mean that you guys are like, well, fine. They, they said... They said Keisha, who I trained, was going to take over the position. Well, since she going to do it, I'm done. No, you root Keisha on from the sideline. You continue to help. You continue to bring your supply. You continue to root her on. You continue to be a part of the team. You don't, you don't have to be the head to help build. You know, he still came and brought supply in a different way, and it was still very much needed. 
He paved the path for his replacement's success. He paved the path. Like, you don't have to have the spotlight to win. Not everything is yours to finish. Many tasks of great kingdom importance may not be wholly synchronized with your own lifetime or your particular generation. Still choose to gratefully be a part of what God is doing by fully investing yourself in his greater work. Yes, the work is his, and since it is, release it back to him whenever he asks you to, trusting that the scope of it will be beyond your wildest imagination. <coughs> like yesterday, we were on um, a, a meeting with the pageant. And she was letting us know that things will come up. Things will come up. And she reminded us that, you know, all things work for our good. And if if you're trying to get a dress and the, the dress isn't coming or things just isn't coming, just remember all things work for our good. And so if something's come up and, and you thought you were supposed to be the one to get the promotion and the promotion came to somebody else, still work enthusiastically, still be the best person on the job like you were before, still love and support and and participate because all things work for our good and know at the end of the day that this is God's plan. And if all things work for our good, that even with you not being the one at the lead, that still at the end, everything is working for our good. So still make sure that we're still supporting, we're still encouraging, and that we're still being team players at the end. Because even though I'm not at the forefront, all things still work for my good. Even though we have we're 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 building the family is coming together and we're building the family business and even though I'm I'm the one that's more certified to to be the y'all know I'm not an accountant but I'm the one that's certified to be the accountant in the family but they let cousin Sarah be the the family accountant I'm not gonna take my supply away I'm still gonna work in because you never know God may have something down the line that's still um benefits you so all things work for our good so hebrews 12 make sure i read this yes okay i did hebrews 12 1 and 2 says let's run with endurance the race that is set before us fixing our eyes on jesus the author and the perfecter of faith which is what i just said in the in in other terms again let us run with endurance the race that is set before us fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of faith. And so the other scripture for today is 1 Corinthians 3 and 8, which says, He who plants and he who waters are one, but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. He who plants and he who waters are one, but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor amen 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 all right so he speaks to me now if you're just not joining for the first time we are reading out of the awakening book by priscilla Shear, which can be purchased off of amazon and we have he speaks to me um and we journal in it for five minutes together he speaks to me, says, is there a project or ambition you're clinging to out of fear or being replaced or being unknown? If so, what is it? And trust it to the Lord and ask him to give you the courage to loosen your grip. And so is there something that you're holding on to um, for fear, for fear of being replaced, for fear of not getting the credit for fear of it's not going to be done right if you don't do it, you know, for fear, you know, of whatever the case is. But you feel like God is kind of telling you to let somebody else do it, you know. Um, let's let's write on that. This might be another one that might take, you know, some time to kind of think about, you know. But we can we can jot jot down some. Um, we can jot down some and then we can we can come back 
back to it, need be, all right? So we'll take five minutes to jot it down, and then we'll come back. And because we're early on time, we can talk about it a little bit if you guys want to as well, all right? So I'll mute myself. Amen. Anybody want to share anything? Good morning. He's still writing. <laughs> Passing that baton. So I guess we do have some um some baton some baton batons batons that, that we can um that we can definitely pass, right? And and what I thought about when I was reading over this yesterday, I'm like, this is why we find ourselves so overwhelmed sometimes too, right? Because God has given us projects um, over time and it's so much stuff that we should have been passing, you know, but we finish, we feel like sometime to finish well means to to see it to the very end, you know? And 
to pass the baton, you know, yeah. And, and that would help to take some stress off of us that would allow others to have some confidence that would allow the kingdom to, to grow because now more people are passing batons and, and so forth, you know, but it's, it's a matter of being humble. It's a matter of trusting. It's a matter of having faith. It's a matter of so much. I'll share mine and it's, it's my, it's, it's not easy to share. Um, and, and so, but I'll, I'll share my, for me, mine is, um, mine is the, I, I got a few batons that I hold on to, <laughs> but the, the one that I'll share that's, that's, that's most dearest to me is right here within my home. Um, I was brought up, um, the second, the, the second latter part of my house, um, a woman, see me raw, independent woman, independent, have your own, have your own, have your own. And as a successful marriage, kingdom marriage, that is not the, the mindset that you want to have, you know, um, that's, that's, that's not, yeah, you want to like, you don't want to have the, the, have a backup mindset because this is to the end is is the mindset that you really want to have is because your commitment should be to God that God you're going to see un unless this man is doing me harm you know and this this is to the end you know you don't want to have the one foot out the door mindset type you know um and and I was brought up with the hear me roar you better not say nothing to me because I'm independent hear me roar you know I I got this you know and so I, I find I pass the baton and then as soon as it looks like he may come into any type of trouble, I snatch it back and I'm like, I got it, I got it, I got it, you know, and, and so it can even just look like he's coming into trouble, you know, and so, but as the king of the house, you have God who is the head. And then you have your husband who is the man of the house. And then you have the woman who submits up under your husband. And you have to trust that God is going that that God is going to rule over your house first. And then your husband is going to submit to 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 God and that you're up under there. And so by me always trying to snatch the baton back, I'm out of line. And so that's something that Rissa has to, to work on to stop snatching the baton back. <laughs> and so, yes, you, you too, Miss Betty. Or, <laughs> or you want to speak? You want to speak? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not going to say that uh, my granddaughter is a project, but uh, it's hard for me to like pass the baton. It's like, where well, if she go into the system, you know, into to detention, what's gonna happen, you know? And it's like, she does good for a while. And I said, well, no, I'm not gonna call anybody. You know, she's doing well or whatever. And, and then when you look, it's like she trips off again. So it's like, I'm, I'm, it's, it's upsetting me and I get upset about it, but I'm thinking I just gotta let go and let God because she is going like back and forth and the older she get, the worse she get. So maybe I just, I ain't gonna say maybe, I need to just, the next time we go to court, just to let the judge, you know, don't take up for it and just let the judge do what he have to do because she really is stressing me out. And no matter what I do, you know, so remember when we were talking about with the passing of the baton is is the the rooting on from the sideline after you pass the baton and so going in that war closet even beforehand you know and so praying about the situation you know even when 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 we're not doing so so knowing that you miss betty can't fix it 
you know no and so I can't we're taking it we're taking it to god and letting him yeah care of it. i know easy that's said the hardest done. thing right that's why i said easier said than done yeah mm -hmm. yeah Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sharing this. It's not easy for us to share what we know we need to work on. But thank you so much for opening up. Thank you. Do we have one more sister that might want to share a baton that they can pass? Okay. Okay. And we will um we will end out in prayer all right thank you so much and so Father God, we come to you today, Lord, and we tell you, thank you, Father. Thank you for being an awesome God. Thank you for being a mighty God. Father, we ask that you give us the strength, Father, the strength to believe and the strength to know that you are in control, Father. Anything that we wrote down, Father, anything that came to our hearts, Father, also help us to, to things that we might not even thought about, Father, tap on our shoulders, Father, help us to see the things that you're saying my daughter my son you're holding on to this thing and I'm telling you to let it go let it go out of your heart let it go out of your mind that I am in control and you can pass the baton you don't have to hold this thing on your shoulder you don't have to hold this thing in your heart at the end of the day whether if it's through a person whether if it's through a system whether if it's through a connection that at the end of the day that I am the almighty God and that I am I'm the one in control so you don't have to hold on to the baton that you can pass the baton and that your trust is not in the person your trust is in me so pass the baton and know that I am the one that's going to see it through father so increase our faith in you father increase our faith inside of the situation father father forgive us where our faith is low father father forgive us where our faith is weak father father we surrender and we turn it over to you father Father, you're such an awesome God. You're such a mighty God, Father. Father, help our lives to align to your will, Father. Open up our ears, Father. Help our eyes be open, Father. Drop the scales off of our eyes, Father, so that we see the plan that you have for our lives, Father, that it aligns for your perfect will for us, Father. Father, you said that you knew us before we was born, Father, so you have the plan for our lives, Father. Help us to pass the baton so that our lives lives align with the plan that you have for our lives father father we do not want to walk a life that does not align with the with the will that you have for us father you say when we align with you father that you give us good life father we are after the good life up under your perfect will father we know that things may not go perfectly father but we know that you give us peace father we're after your peace we're after your joy father help us be a blessing unto your king them, Father. You're such a mighty God. You're such an awesome God, Father. We love you so much. We give you all the praise, Father. We give you all the glory, Father. Father, you're such an awesome God. You're such a mighty God, Father. We love you and we thank you, Father. We thank you for never turning your back on us. We thank you for always loving us, Father. We thank you for your strength, Father. Thank you for your strength, Father. Thank you for helping us to pass the baton, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray on today. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Have a good day, amen. everybody. Amen. It's made it look pretty and purple. <laughs> yeah, have a good day. Bye, Miss Joy. Hi, how are you? Good are you. Miss Betty, I love you and I'm giving you a hug. Oh, thank you. I keep it. I wish I was there to hug you in person. Oh. <laughs> So sweet. Y'all ladies have a blessed day. You too. You too. Right. Bye bye. See y'all tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Love y'all. Love you. 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 Love
Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Love you all. See you later on tonight. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good day, everyone. You too, you too.